I don't think so. Definition, anomaly, something anomalous, deviation from the normal or usual order, type, etc. Irregularity. In the twelfth dimension, coincide as followed. And the twelfth dimension coincides at this particular angle. Back if it were present tense. Of course, of course. How did that make you feel, Miss Peters? Actually, kind of happy. It's one of those things that doesn't seem about at the time, but it just kind of sticks with you. I told you, if you ever needed pills to relieve some of the stress, I would prescribe some for you. Then, yeah. no pills. These memories aren't going away. I don't think I want them to. They're what made me who I am today. When you first came to me, you were convinced that oh, it was all real, that you actually saved the world from mass destruction. Yes, Doctor, but since I've begun to see you, I began to question what's real and what's not. Jumping from parallel worlds to world, and the gates of hell opening due to the founder of Madison, it's a little far-fetched. And I was practicing under the influence of drugs and alcohol. Why would Professor Fritz and Oliver just have disappeared like that after all this time? Maybe it was just a coincidence. And I... I still don't understand what happened that weekend. I, I still wonder if it was all just a dream. That's to be expected, perhaps, making it the other world and the situation helps you cope with 
these people who have made an impact in your life both obviously affected you in a good and bad way. The brain has a funny way of working. True, but it still doesn't change the fact that Professor Fritz was a pompous zit on the ass of society. And Oliver was nothing but a coward. Still, to this day, I miss Oliver. You just never get over lonely. Well, it's for certain you cared a great deal about him. Did you ever hear from Betty after all of that? Don't you read the news? It was all over the papers. Extra, extra, read all about it. Betty's dead. Her car burned in my front yard. Yes, but I doubt if it was magic that killed her. More likely guns. They found bullet holes in your apartment walls. You look different. Do I? Anyways, I... I was so mean to Oliver last time we spoke. I just have so many questions. If I could just talk to Oliver, maybe they'd be answered. I don't even know if he's alive. I know he left me for dead, but at least he called afterwards. That's more than some men do after they run away. I still kept the 50 messages he left. I even recorded them. He said that he'd stick by me no matter what, I don't ever listen to them. It's just a comfort to know they're there. Why did you ever look for Oliver? In one sense, Cassie did not have to answer the man's question. Since she had no one else to confide in, she told the doctor anyways. But I did. I went by train. I went by plane. I went by boat. I went by horse. I even went by truck. Did you hear that? To avoid the question, what's your dating life been like otherwise? At that moment, Cassie didn't know what to say. Her heart started beating. There it is again. It's like God or something. I heard at that time. Tick tock, Miss Winters. I don't know where everything's going. Oh. I don't know what to think anymore. Maybe I'm destined to be alone. Men chase me all the time. I never can find the right one. And your narcoleptic problem, where you fall asleep everywhere, how's that working out? No hallucinations due to lack of sleep? No. Um, I'm not having any trouble as far as that goes. Good, good, good. Well, our, our time's up here. I will see you next time. Thank you, Doctor. What I didn't know was the kind doctor had a dark past, his parents killed, and he himself had post-traumatic stress, which led him to a double life of crime. I was so self-involved, I didn't put any facts together in the matter about Dr. McGee. I simply went to him to seek therapy. Um, I, I forgot my purse. Um, thank you. Thank you, Doctor.
Hello? Mom? Yeah. No, Mom? you're fine. What's going on? Uh, Molly. I don't know what to do. I think I'm going completely crazy. I, I just, I don't know what to do anymore. I keep on having the, the flashbacks and the visions and everything else, and I don't know what to do. I don't know how to handle this. Maybe I should just throw myself in an insane asylum or something. I mean, none of this stuff is real. Nothing is real anymore. Nothing seems real. I, I look from this and that, and I, I don't know what's reality and what's... I can't take it anymore. The post-traumatic stress is coming back. I can't take it. I can't take it. I just can't do it again. You can handle it. You'll be our the ability to do things that no other people can do. What? What is that supposed to mean? It'll right. be fine. It'll be okay. You'll be all right. Bye. Okay. Love you. Bye. Not. Well, that's really comforting. This isn't real. This isn't real. It isn't real. I feel it isn't real. This isn't happening. Not again. Not again. <laughs> yeah. Open me. I can't. Read. Okay. I can't. I can't. I can't. Not again. I can't. I open you. Will you leave me alone? Yes. The year was 1910, and I was torn. Once a long time ago. Sorry, wrong time period. Stella had traveled to three dimensions. She had found a loophole in the universe to master such a craft.
What happened? You know me? Of course. We're womb buddies. Identical twins. So get so silly. I'm not sure where you acquired that outfit. I keep having to change. Stella had killed herself. And in doing so, she became her own doppelganger. And as her own body dwindled in the lake, which they got their drinking water. Somewhere in this time period, Stella had forgotten who she was. Her memory of anything she had learned in the past had to be rewritten, much like the reincarnation experience. But without remembering how to time travel, there was no way of finding another way back to the black hole. Because of this, she felt she had been cursed. This was the reality of this time period. cannot keep me away from your essence. I will wait for you until the end of time. Oh, nonetheless, we shall continue this conversation another day. <coughs> <coughs> Cows were hard to come by. Oh, how I long for there to be more in this world. I grow tired of such labor. Oh, broom, I desire for thee to take light. What if I told you, my sister, that you could use magic to help carry such things? I could never, never have that much power. It's inside all of us, our bloods and minds. Close your eyes. I did it! No one can know of this. They would burn us alive. I won't say a word. Stella continued to practice her magic, as did her sister. But... The sister became obsessed with power, dabbling in the dark side of magic, a place a witch should never go. Because all the power running through her veins, she became stronger. Stella tried to reason with her sister and warn her of such darkness, but her sister would not hear of it, continuing what she was doing. Stella was discouraged and cast a protection spell on herself, afraid she may be harmed. Stella's sister tried to get Stella to join with her in her quest, but could not sway her. John was running for town mayor and walked in on Stella's sister. How are you doing this? Can you win the election? Depends on how far you are. Oh, Stella, I'm building the town. I'm running for office. How could I forget? All of Madison was talking about it. But I must die with my husband. That worthless husband of yours. He's not worthy of you. True. He is not well endowed or has funds. But still, perhaps I should die with you. Over my dead body, it's against God for you to betray your vows. This man building our town over Indian burial ground and running for mayor. He's evil, I tell you. He's evil. Our uh, town's roads are shaped in the form of an ungodly symbol. symbol. It's just a star, Papa. I forbid you to see him. He's evil, I tell you. He's evil. I forbid you to spend time with this Mason. I. You are to stay faithful. I adore my husband, he, but he will not bear children. 
and that could be trouble. In that case, I need you to lay with your husband. John gets deeper and deeper into the dark arts, going from not just a man, for you have your A man, your B man, your wing man, your X man, and your D man. That's what John had become the demon. Stella's sister, in a rage, cast a spell on John, making him believe Stella's sister was her. Every time John saw Stella's sister, he saw Stella, which wasn't hard to do considering they were identical twins. doesn't want her offspring to grow up around the darkness. She grabs the talisman for protection and flees into the night. Okay, anything else left like to say, Cassandra? Yes. What What do you got to say? I have to say, the monster is real. Cassie must say the spell again. That dead night counselor wants to keep Cassie from remembering the spell. It's not like that dumb bitch could remember left from right. She's falling asleep everywhere as if she's some drunk on an acid trip. I have to get rid of that old coot. 
How are you gonna do that? Kill. Zap him like a fried squirrel struck by lightning. We must also get the amulet. Then, and only then, we will be able to receive the power of John Nolan. Yup. Then she'll absorb the energy I need. Side by side, we'll be like a locomotive on a runaway track, charging everything in our path. What if she doesn't follow? She'll follow. No one can resist the charm of the saddle. Come back soon now. Hi, I'm your sister. No resemblance. Alright, let's hear what you have to say. What are you doing here? What makes you think I'm your sister? Uh, you want a cigarette? No thanks, I'm trying to quit. I came an awful long way to meet you. I heard we were separated at birth, so I hitchhiked from Kentucky to Memphis, Oklahoma, then Texas. Oh. Fuck Texas. I didn't mean you no harm. I'm not buying this. How did you find me? I found you with this. Daddy's old pocket watch. Okay, well, thanks for coming. Bye-bye. Let's look at how sleep evolved. There has always been a day and night cycle out of hell. What's the scariness here? She's a little reluctant to tell us. What what has happened here? What has happened here, Cassie? You are a place where you can see me. Is this heaven? Do I have to kiss your feet because they really did stink when you were alive? No. Heaven is a different dimension. Just follow the signs. Every movie, the higher being tells you to follow the signs in a dream and it causes nothing but trouble. No thank you. Don't deny what you've seen. Take caution in your journey. dreams are just your mind's way of coping. I'll tell you what, how about I write you out a prescription in case you find everything just a little bit too much to handle? More than likely I won't need pills, but I think I'm driving myself crazy. I need closure to know what happened. Well, Madison was built by John Nolan. He was a saint in it. Maybe you heard that somewhere. You went someplace in your mind. Or maybe it was just because you were stoned. But if you haven't abused drugs since, it may be okay to try some medication. Yeah. Something to think about. I don't. 
doctor. I don't know what to think now. Just, just lock me up. Put on the cuffs. Go ahead, do it. Just calm now, just calm down. Go home, have a cup of tea. I, I have to go. I, I can't be here anymore. Cassie's starting to remember those piss memories again. I, I forgot my purse. I forgot my... Yes, it is. Yes. Your car is still in the ditch. Am I dead? Not yet. But we don't have much time. It was not your destiny to save the world. It was mine. John Nolan's the only one who knows how to help you. He must earn penance for what he has done. Is my body okay? This just gets better and better. I have too many what, who, why questions. The first one is why my mother never told me about our witch bloodline. Your grandmother probably died before she could tell your mother. 
You've already asked quite a bit of me. I've already been through extensive therapy. Told I, told I was insane because of the visions, only to find out I felt you were wrong? And now I have to fix your fuck up. Why should I help you again? Why don't you have some other witch destroy the world? Magic has been taken from the world since people have been lying to their children about Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny. People stopped believing in things, and the balance of nature was thrown off years ago. Oh great, I did hit over the head numerous times, causing extensive brain damage, only to find out that I was supposed to help the guy who was chasing me? I'm sorry. Sorry? I have to live on Earth every day while you sit up here, amused? Everyone's dead because you couldn't read your crystal ball right. I'm not delusional. The last I remember is my car is on the side of the road. I'm sorry. You were wrong about me saving the world the first time around. What makes you so sure that it's supposed to be destroyed? How do I know I'm not delusional? Find some other witch to destroy the world. You must seek out John Nolan. My books won't help you destroy the earth. They were meant to, to save it. Where do I find John Nolan? John Nolan is in the place he should be. Then what about Oliver? Oliver! 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 Where is he? Oliver is where he should be as well. Unfortunately, the priest did not make it to heaven. Priest? I didn't know there was a priest. He died before you destroyed John. But I thought all priests made it to heaven. Follow the signs. You're not meant to stay here long. That's pretty vague. And excuse me if I'm not a ray of sunshine, but I wish you people would just be straight up with me and tell me the truth. I don't hold any regard for human life, including my own. Don't waste my time being cryptic. I can't even trust myself anymore. I wish you people would just stop telling me to follow the signs. Just tell me straight out. Last I remember, my body inside a car going off the road. Oh shit, my body. I hope it's okay. I've lost all the limit this shit. <laughs> oh great, you could have at least told me how to get out of here. <laughs> Welcome to it, Cassie! You, I can be anyone, do anything I want here! I can be a god! I can be a devil! I can be the sweet child waiting for its mommy at the railroad station! I can be the stern daddy! Why were you out with that boy last night? I can be the gracious mom! Honey, eat all your vegetables and grow up strong! <laughs> I can be anything I want here! Cassie! And here I am. <laughs> ah, I see, I see, I see. And I have to ask, why did you bring forth John Nolan's spirit? Well, it's funny you should ask that. I mean, actually, it came to me in a dream. <laughs> <laughs> a beautiful, beautiful dream. <laughs> uh, did, what in the world did Kalazar have to do with it? Oh, Cassie. Oh, Cassie. Cassie. You mean you haven't figured that out yet? There was no Kalazar, Cassie. His name was Davy Jones. We had a simple game of Dungeons and Dragons. 
And you see, while we were playing that, I conjured up this that whoosh! <laughs> it's gone now. <laughs> His evil! I unleashed upon your world! My world too, but I don't give a damn. Because it's all about me now, isn't it? It's all about me, and I like to entertain. Why do you think I was so mad at my students? You see, none of them would play the game with me, Cassie. And that's what has made me so angry all this time. You know, Cassie, I don't think you've understood this very well, but the ends to the mean benefits me. The, the means of the me outweigh the needs of all the others. <laughs> I gave you the assignment, Cassie. But you, it was up to you to make it all work out. It was in your head, Cassie. A beginning to an end that you would create and only you could control. Back an evil entity playing a game of Dungeons and Dragons? Well, the means to an end. Everybody's got to have a hobby, you know? <laughs> Me, I do as I feel. And Yes, I confused you, didn't I? Sometimes I get in there right around your, what do they call it, the central cortex, and just rip my little limbs right around you. <laughs> so they all had to die. Oliver's missing. Everybody's dead, including your friend, Davy Jones, and his own meat logger cooking extra crispy. Yes, I was kind of thinking of, you know, that old uh, chicken place when I did that. I figured when I bite into it, it would be a little crunchy and tender. and Maybe I could put some uh, sparkling little um, appetizer on top of it. But, uh, you know, like I said, Katzy, uh, the needs of me outweigh the needs of everyone else. <laughs> so they all had to die. Significant toy. Me with this, this instrument of nothingness. <laughs> I cannot be killed, Cassie. No, me. You are nothing to me. I rule this realm, Cassie. I rule my own realm. Oh, you look at, look into my spirit. Look into my world now, Cassie. This. Look at me. This is where you need to go, Cassie. Take a good look. Look! Look deep. That is where you need to go. I had do your bidding. I must roam free as another presence. If you need me, I'll be back. If not, goodbye, my fair princess. I'm aloft. I awoke. I've got to get back to my body. In the bags appeared of luck, good karma, and love. There's my sign. God. I'm really, really sorry, God, but this is like long overdue. Sorry, sorry. Wow, that was too easy. I wasn't an animal. 
Because you did the unthinkable. You did the unthinkable. You tried to kill me. Listen, if you want to stay up here in the city, that would be fine. You want some candy? Let her go. Sorry, old man. I've got a... Spirits just leave me alone. You must find the one that is killing you. I don't have to do shit. People die all the time. Well, fine. Be a lazy bitch. I, I just needed somebody more stable. Now that that's out of the way. Uh, yeah, my car was... Uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I really have to go. I need to figure some things out. I'm not 
doing it. George, and you should get rid of his <laughs> fucking ass. No! I love him! I love him! I love He's him! He's only gonna drag Stop her the down the and you make her broke for the rest of her fucking life. Oh, that's exactly. true! He would be she broke to his mind, but I love him anyhow. She's not gonna be successful <laughs> at anything she does because of him. That's true, but I love him anyway. I love you him don't anyway. love him. You love his. You love the having sex you with love him his and then being interested you in love him. His fucking body. <laughs> <laughs> you do not. Whatever. I love him. I love him. <laughs> How many quarters? Do you count? I'm glad. I know. So we're gonna play scissors. One, we're gonna play scissors. Josh brings the fourth third magic trick. Third magic trick for three. It's actually four. We'll do one more time. We'll do it real slow. We'll play one. <laughs> we'll play three. Right in my hand, the fourth one. You watch it go right into my pocket. How many? Four. Yeah, exactly. He's got it. He's got it on the ball. Scissors will place one, two, just three coins very simply in my hand. The fourth one goes in my pocket. How many? Eight, 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 eight. Sure? Yeah. Oh, ah! That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> Cassie? Mom? Why didn't you tell me our family was a bunch of witches? I didn't think I needed to. Why not? You watched me go through therapy, and I thought I was going crazy, and this whole time it was real? What about my father? Does he know all this? Where, where is he? I, I, I've never even met him. Well, your father does know. Well, where's he at? I had to turn him into a dog. You did what? Why? Well, your father was a bad man. He needed to be punished. Ugh, no wonder the dog has lived 30 years. Where's his nuts at? Yeah, I took those too. <laughs> I can't believe you kept this from me. And I had somebody coming over to my house today claiming to be my sister. Is that true too? 
Not to my knowledge, unless your father pulled one over on me. I can't talk to you right now. I just need to soak this all in. I just can't talk to you. Hi, Dad. So Mom turned you into a dog, did she? <laughs> Roof, 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 roof. Why didn't you speak before? It was too hard to translate. What did you do to mom that was so bad? Everything a man shouldn't. It was a miracle you were even born. 30 years being a dog. Hey dad, we really need to talk about this later. I, I really would like to need to sort this whole thing out. John Nolan this and John Nolan that. She has to be cheating on me. Maybe if I say the magic words, I can bring John up and ask. Who are you? See, I was a friend of Cassie's. I used to be? See, I was a straight-A college student who helped Cassie. To her. I talked to her about boy problems, the whole nine yards. I don't know why she came to me for answers. I was just a farm girl from Iowa. I was hit by a laser beam, caught on fire. I was nothing but ashes by the time Cassie got to the door. Okay, so who is this John Nolan? He was an evil spirit, accidentally summoned. The trouble was, the town was supposed to be destroyed. Ah, she prevented it, but it wasn't supposed to be prevented. We didn't out until we died. Did you come to her yet? I did, but I wasn't able to reach her. Aren't you freaked out by me being a ghost? I'm one with the universe. Okay, freak. The spooky back house where all the mayhem took place. We're going to go nearby this now. We're going to tread where no man is. I'm going to go on this rotted out doll, which is probably going to crack. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a horrific sight. My dearest Alvin, I cannot stay married to you if we do not consummate. Forgive me. Yours and forever, Stella. You destroyed me. I was supposed to destroy the world. The balance of nature was tampered with. You must pay. If only I had the body to make things right. But I'm stuck in this cat. You did my help to balance out nature. Everything I did to save world, I did it all for nothing. The magical balance must be set. You must go to the place where you banished me and fulfill what was never done. See this place. No. I guess Armageddon was supposed to happen. I did all that for nothing? What, maybe that's what they're all trying to tell me. I have to destroy Madison. How can this be the place of evil? Stella! Stella! I know you can hear me! Is that what you wanted to tell me? Careful. We're treading on loose ground now. 
a chilling sight, would you say? My British accent is getting better as I go. Yes. We have to destroy the world. Yes, I know. Um, Professor Pritz, he brought back John Nolan during a game of D&D. &D. He didn't mean to, he, he didn't know what he was doing, but it all makes sense now. Did you... What's this? I'm not sure. Come on. I can't go with you. Why? I'm too much of a chicken chip. No, I'm not doing this again. Not, not again. No, no, I can't do this again. I, I don't want to be alone. You won't be. Your lady, your lady. memories? Do you know how lame that sounds? Let's just get this over with. What am I supposed to say? I can't use the book. I don't remember. Oh, Grandfather, please, try to remember. Now I remember. Uh, what's with the bags? I just had a feeling we'd need them. You're doing it all wrong. Stand still and point upwards. Ooh, Benjamin Franklin, it's raining men. Oh. Oh. Ow. Stop being a dumbass and pay attention. Okay, okay. Damn it, these buddy, that it's I oh it's that it's that it uh Oh my, just crash and burn. Oh. Ooh. <gasps> I don't, I, don't I, I, I didn't, I didn't mean. Is that it? Is oh, Stella? No, no, no! I, I don't want this power. I don't want this power. I don't want it. I don't want it. Please, stop! Oh. 
Did he just get a hard on? I ooh ooh no bad 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 bad. Oh ah, Kaiu Siam. Oh ah, Kaiuku Siam. Oh ah, Kaiuku Siam. Sometimes, in the end, there is no explanation. There is only 